Okay, everybody. This is Joe Getz, Canon. Uh, I'm going to do a quick review of a couple products that I use when I'm out metal detecting for uh, relics. This is the beginning of a, a kind of a series that I want to do. A little, little short one to two minute, maybe five minute videos that talk about different things like uh, different products, different metal detectors, uh, show some of my relics, some of my shells, some products I use to clean the relics, uh, those sort of things. So without further ado, today I'm going to evaluate uh, some that I've been using. So I bought the Garrett metal detectors um, shovel as a backup to my leches because I lose them all the time, leave them in the ground and walk two miles away and forget before I dig another target. So somewhere in the wilds of North Carolina, Virginia, South Carolina, and Georgia, there are at least $250 worth of leches in the woods for your uh, recovery. So another little treasure. Um, so I was down to my last leche. I lost it. I had to pull this out and use it. So I went to a Confederate camp and this particular Confederate camp was very rocky. When I mean rocky, I don't mean like big boulders. I mean like pebbles and, and very um, like river stone-ish type camp, which is nice because the targets aren't very deep, but they're also hard to recover without busting them up. So you got to use the smaller shovel to get in and scrape away the rocks. So what I like, I like the rubber grip. Uh, it's a soft rubber grip. I do, do like that. Um, what I don't like, it's really thick. Uh, and you think that would be better, but it makes it a heck of a lot heavier. Um, and it's plastic coated with some sort of coating. And I'm not overly fond of that. Um, the digging edge is not sharp. If you want a sharp digging edge, you're going to have to sharpen it yourself. And the serrated edge is okay. And you have one here and one here, but it still doesn't have the cutting root cutting power that I have in my leche. Now, that being said, I had a small rock, maybe the size of a 12 pound cannonball that I was prying away. And you can see it is bent. I've worked in the same environment with my leche, never even had it give. So some of the flaws is I don't think the steel's as good. I think it's not as strong. Make a good digger for free, make a good digger for cheap, make a good digger for coin shooters in sod. The other thing that Garrett has acknowledged is that their case consistently rips and tears. This thing is always hanging out like horrible. You send them a, a letter and a picture of it and they'll send you a new case. So those of you guys, I mean, they always make good on things. They're, they're a very good company for that. Uh, I think they should focus on pro pointers and metal detectors. Just my two cents. The Leche. This is a new one because I couldn't I couldn't bear to use that thing anymore. Um, I don't like the handle. It's a hard plastic. It's always held up, but just never been overly fond of it. But I do like the fact that it's very strong, very sharp coming out of the gate, cuts the grass away, and this thing is amazing at cutting through roots. I mean, just amazing. So a lot stronger, comparable in price, um, more effective in, can't bend it as easy. I haven't, I've never bent one. And root cutting is phenomenal. Never had a case rip on me. They seem cheap and they seem like junk, but believe it or not, they hold up very well. So that's my four minute review of the Garrett hand digger versus the Lache hand digger from a digger. Um, appreciate it. Hope it was helpful. 
and helps you make some decisions. Again, not knocking Garrett products. Uh, Garrett does a very good job. I know some of the Garrett folks. Uh, great metal detectors. Um, a lot of great products. Just have to say that the digger is not my number one choice. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. There will be more to come. Uh, next few shows are going to be on other shovels. Uh, some different methods of converting your iron relics into something stable. And I'm going to showcase some of my shells that I've done uh, while I'm showing you the products that I've used to restore them. Thanks for watching. Bye. Chat.